Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I got requested to go play some status, specifically Poison, Sword and Shield, in some Monster Hunter Rise against a Magnamolo. I'm gonna go fight Scorned because I just prefer the fight out of the two. It's the one I know better. Right, let's go. I haven't used this set in a while, so we'll see how it goes. It should be fine, honestly. There's not really that much he could do that would surprise me. I know pretty much everything he can do. Grab that, of course, so we can get some extra wire bug. I should have probably set up the trap. It'll be fine, right? Copium. There. Yeah, we literally get nothing off it, but that's okay. Bang, 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 bang. Nope. Should have definitely gone to try and go through that for adrenaline, but that's okay. Do it there. I just gotta be careful because the explosion adds a little bit of range. And I don't think I have... Right, it's not the other one. I don't have uh, Evade Extender to go through it. Hard Knockdown. I also definitely should have put Wind Mantle on this set. It works so much better than... 1-2. It works so much better than Wybug Whisperer 3 on its own. It, like, it legitimately gives more Wybug regeneration than Wybug Whisperer 3. If you just have it active. Nope. Ah, yeah, that's what I get for trying to roll through something that has an explosion. No, sir. There we go, get some damage. Can knock him down as well, right there. Beautiful. You can use the shield dash to put down the bomb, Hellfire bomb, that I obviously had. Oh, okay. There. At least we hit him. I'll take that. Thought it wouldn't reach. Thank you for Adrenaline Rush, sir. Get that damage. Nope. And the follow-up. Bang, bang, bang. Nice and easy. One and two. Or he's only going to do it once, it's fine. We staggered him. And bop. And bop. Don't... Oh, Okay, we hit one tick, let's go. I was going to say, don't think that was worth it. And then I actually hit one. Nope. Maybe? Oh, I'll take it, let's go. Oh, Intrepid! No way! I thought I was sleek. Sleek. Slick. Tail, drag it. Thank you for that free buff. Fine. One, two. There. Ah, I'm too far. Thrust. That's fine. We get some damage. It feels weird to do this fight without switch axe. I'm not going to lie. But that's all right. Nope. And nope. Fine. Oh, we take those. Let's get some damage. Hit the face, because it'll definitely take a lot more than the rest of him that we were going for. Nice and simple. Also a wire bug there, which should be very nice if we get hit again. Without Intrepid ready, at least. We can go pick that up. Very good boost. And wire bug management. Hard knockdown. We'll just do it now. Give me that. Definitely got to get some... Okay, stagger. Definitely got to go get some... Uh oh Ah. I lost my train of thought now. we got to get more Wybug damage in to actually get a mount, because we're definitely going to have to mount for some sharpness at some point. Okay. Weird. It's alright. Should be safe here. Fantastic. Enrage? There's the Enrage. What happened? I'm so confused. I actually don't know what happened there. Did I have Hellfire or something? So it just like cancelled my... What's it called? So it just cancelled my like attack halfway? It's fine. Get some damage. Maybe I did have Hellfire on. That's starting to get annoying now. I think it went off again. Because it doesn't look like I failed it. So I'm a little bit confused there. Tail. That powder mantle. Chonky damage because we've got all the raw in the world. And the next follow up. Oh my god. We're missing all these wire bug attacks. Which is not great in the slightest. Oh right, I got heaven sent on here. That's where the sharpness is. I forgot about that. 
That'll definitely work. Sweep, sweep? Okay. Maybe I can guard point this. What? Bro, what was the point of me guarding there if it's not going to work at all? <laughs> That's ridiculous. But okay. Nice, we went over it. Yeah, I guess I don't need a mount then. Because I forgot that I have Heaven Sent for sharpness on here. I was wondering what I did have because I was like, surely there's some reason I didn't have extra sharpness on here. But uh, that would definitely do it. Supposed to use Heaven Sent on it. That's going to hit me. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. I don't know why I try and back up through it either. We literally get nothing from actually getting Perfect Rush set up. So I should just do a regular dodge. Because it'll be more reliable as well because it doesn't get the extra iframes or anything. I did it again. Maybe he'll hit me? Let's go. There's the mount. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go grab this and our wire bug and then mount him. Get that free wall bang damage in. We've also got Thunder Blight, which is great. It's also a Thunder Trap on this side of the map, which not ideal because I'm probably not going to go get it at any point because I don't know why I'd go back over there willingly. Just because it'd be a waste of time to walk over there. But that's all right. Get the damage. Nice and simple. Very easy. Get over to him. That, such a waste, but that's okay. My cat gave him Shock Tripper as well, so... Yeah, I guess that's a thing. There. We already had Thunder Blight on him, so... Not needed in the slightest. But that's alright. Our damage. One and two. Thank you. Just like, you better track me well enough. I know they gave you so many buffs to actually be able to track properly. Yeah, that was too early. Yeah, they gave him so many buffs so that his tracking was actually decent. So I would bloody well hope that he actually gets it in time. Also, I need more than five garb for that, apparently. Ooh, let's go. There. At least we hit him. We take those. His arm has Hellfire again, which is great. It means we get some extra damage. Nope. Thank you for that adrenaline rush. The grab. Oh my god, let's go, cat. Wow, okay, my cats are actually just legendary. <laughs> I don't know how I missed his entire body to go past all of that, but that's okay. Whatever, dude. That's uh very questionable. Second one. I think I'm too far. Yeah, I was too far. That's alright. The thought was there, at least. Some more. Nope. Oh, let's go. Not hard knockdown attack. Fine. Tail. Should be able to hit him. Nice and easy. I should reset soon, too. My sharpness, that is. And the third one. I might as well do it here, actually. Unless I get, like, Powder Mantle or something. Booster's gone, so it's been eight minutes. So much slower than my uh, Switch Axe, but that's alright. I think it's mainly because the cannons are just missing. I should have done the Shield Slam, but it worked. Because it would have been a delayed attack rather than what we did there. Intrepid, come on. I love seeing them do the same attack twice in a row. Yep, we just have to eat that. I'm going to lay on the floor. We do have Blood Blight, so I should be able to heal. Yeah. Okay. So much slower than Switch X, but that's alright. I'm pretty sure it's just because of the range on the counter. Switch Axe's one obviously travels forward, whereas this one's straight up and down. As usual, here was the build. I probably need to work on this a little bit more, because I feel like it can probably get more damage in. That and I've realized a lot of my sets are somewhat outdated, because I made them very early on. But it's got a build up boost 3 with a weakness exploit 1 and a 3 2 slot. It's a very solid talisman. Here are all the skills and decorations, of course. All the green numbers are from decorations, if you wanted to screenshot there, and there you can. But yeah, that was another request this time to go fight a Magnamolo with a status, specifically Poison, Sword and Shield. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.